everybody woke to BioWare 3 Raw TV. After I put up the coconut oil video, that uh, a little bit of a different one, explaining I felt in depth what I feel about it. And you know, that is just my opinion. And if you love coconut oil, that's fantastic. I am happy for you that you love coconut oil. I'm, I'm, I'm happy that you found something in your life to love so much and be so passionate about. I'm sad that it's actually coconut oil, but I'm happy that you found something that you could feel that strongly and love and care about, like coconut oil. A puppy would be better, but fuck it, coconut oil, I'll take it. As long as you love or fucking, you know, care about something, that's all I care about at this point, okay? And, you know, people jump up, and it's not the majority. It's the few people that jump up and they go, What do you understand? Study, say, study, say. Listen, there are studies that say that it's bad. There are other studies that say that it's good. But really, it's not that it says that it's good for you. There's no studies that I've found that said it's actually good for you. What they have said is that they're not sure. Like, they can't really find any link to say that they're bad for you. But they're not saying that they're good for you. Which, you know, anything that you're putting in your body that's non-essential is not necessarily the healthiest fucking thing for you. I don't know. I mean, anything that's, you have to put essential things in your body that your body cannot take, uh, create. It cannot make. Essential fatty acids, essential amino acids, that's it. It doesn't need anything else. And at this point in my life, I'm not interested in whether or not I eat fucking bacon. I, could, I don't fucking eat pork. I could give a fuck less about bacon or fucking any of this other happy horseshit you guys like to eat because you're addicted to foods. Or other people saying, I have taken MCTs and it's been magical for me. I'm telling you right now, MCTs are not a fucking magical thing. They're found in fucking nature. All right, they're found in coconut oil. They're not fucking magical. But uh, we'll run with it. One guy was like, oh, I'm 6% body fat at fucking this. You're 6%. Alberto Nunez is 6% body fat. You're, you're 220, 6% body fat. No pictures anywhere to be seen. Okay, like I, I just get so sick of people like... It's not that big a deal, guys. If you don't want to listen to me, don't listen to me. But the bottom line is, I'm not wrong. I'm not saying you're wrong, but I'm not wrong either. Whatever study you can find saying something is good, you can find a study saying that something is bad. However, in those studies, what I'm reading is I'm taking the good and bad out and finding the cause and reason why someone would think that they're bad and looking at that specifically saying, this is why I don't want to eat this. This is why I have an opinion this. This is why. Not just because there is a study done and it says this. Well, you couldn't explain to me why the study said that to save your fucking life. You don't even understand the fucking study. You can't even read. Half these studies you can't even fucking read as a normal fucking person. They're so fucking, they're so far out there and worded so fucked up that most people don't even understand them. They look for the conclusion or bottom line. They take that and they run with it. They don't even see what the fuck else is in the study. So I pulled up this, this article. It talks about studies on Harvard Health publications okay that's another thing some of these studies that you guys are fucking quoting are studies that are fucking these most random fucking places that let's face facts if saturated fats were found to fucking be absolutely harmful for you, for you the beef industry the dairy industry some big fucking food industries would take a fucking crash which is exactly the reason why the sugar industry or the food industry which makes cereals and shit like that are fighting fucking to the death saying that sugar has nothing to do with obesity sugar has nothing to do with heart disease sugar has not sugar is just fucking great sugar is the fucking best thing ever which some people would agree but if it finally came out that fucking sugar can fuck you up and saturated fats can fuck you up, that's whittling our foods down to very few foods that people would eat. These industries would go fucking bankrupt. So be aware that who's putting this information out that you're reading may not be the information that you fucking really need to be healthy. It's just the information you need to buy more of these fucking foods to stick them in your fucking mouth and be obese. And most of the people that are fucking commenting on these things are not in shape. You're, you're, you're fucking regurgitating shit that you've read on the internet, which that's where I get my information too, but you're not understanding. So this is going to be the last video I make of this. Hopefully this will help you understand what I'm talking about, why it's not about the final conclusion, about what happened during the study before the conclusion that you can use information-wise that I don't think people, they just go right for the bottom line. Like, you know, there's other YouTubers that do it too. Well, studies say this. Well, that's the bottom line. But what else did it say in the study? Oh, they don't fucking know. So this article on uh, Harvard Medical School, it says, um, da, 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 um, if you're wondering if fat is bad for you, the body needs some form of fat from food. It's a major source of energy, helps you absorb some vitamins and minerals. Fat is needed to build cell membranes, the vital exterior of each cell, and the sheath surrounding nerves. It's essential for blood clotting, muscle movement, and inflammation. For long-term health, some fats are better than others. Okay, long. this is what I'm fucking talking about. 
Some fats are better than others for long-term health. I don't give a fuck if you're 18 years old and you're eating fucking coconut oil and think it's... A, when you're fucking 40, trust me, I was there. I was you. When you're 40, you don't look at shit the same. Your body reacts differently. You realize you've been abusing the fuck out of it for 20 years. And when you're fucking 40, you don't want to fucking have these health complications. You just don't. And I know you're not going to listen to me and that's fine. You younger guys, I don't give a fuck. But you guys are 35, 40, 50 years old. Pay attention. Um, all fats have similar chemical structure, um, chain of carbon atoms bonded to hydrogen atoms. What makes one fat different from the other is the length and shape of the carbon chain and the number of hydrogen atoms connected to the carbon atoms. Seemingly slight differences in structure translate into crucial differences in form and function. Seemingly slight. So when the studies say, well, basically, that their structure, a saturated fat is just like a poly and monounsaturated. There's barely any difference. Right, but there is a fucking difference. Now, the bad fats... Trans fats. Those are the ones that, and what the fuck? When trans fats came out, they were advertised as being like the best thing. There's nothing wrong with them. They now know that they fuck on our carcinogens that will kill you if you consume them long enough. That's just, if you consume trans fats long enough, you will get cancer. That's just the fucking bottom line. Now, the in between fats. This is the ones that I'm talking about. Now, I don't want something that's in between, nor do I want something that's bad. I want the things that are good at this point in my life. And this is what I'm trying to fucking preach is going with the things that are the least fucking evasive to your body, easily digested, easiest for your body to use, and causes the least amount of inflammation and cortisol rise due to digestive things. That fuck, I mean, you can eat a fucking Lego, okay? It's probably not going to kill you if you can shit it out, but it is going to cause a fucking response in your body, an inflammation response, trying to fucking digest that piece of plastic. And I don't think people are, oh, yeah, just shit it out. What is happening in between the time that you fucking swallow it and it comes out? There is a reaction even though it's not a food and you don't even know it. Like, just because you don't know it doesn't mean it's not fucking real. And that's part of the problem that I have with this. Saturated fats are common in the American diet. They're solid at room temperature. Think about stuff like cooled bacon grease, okay? Um, common sources of saturated fat include red meat, whole milk, and other whole milk dairy foods, cheese, coconut oil, and many, many commercially prepared baked goods and other foods. The word saturated fat refers to the number of hydrogen atoms surrounding each carbon atom. A little bit of science for you guys. The chain of carbon atoms holds as many hydrogen atoms as possible. It's saturated with hydrogens, saturated fat. Is saturated fat bad for you? A diet rich in saturated fats can drive up total cholesterol. Nobody's arguing this fact, okay? And, you know, people are like, it doesn't really matter if you're good cholesterol. Drive up total cholesterol and tip the balance towards more harmful LDL cholesterol, which prompts blockages to form in arteries in the heart and elsewhere in the body. Okay? These are fucking facts. Now... These things happen with saturated fats, okay? It's been proven time and time again in studies. Then you find another study that says, no, they're okay to take in in small amounts. Nobody ever said to eat a diet 100% fucking saturated fat. But you have to understand what you're working with here can be dangerous if you don't fucking pay attention. If you had 20 grams of saturated fat a day, I don't think it's going to kill you. But if you can have closer to zero, I think that's better. I mean, that's the bottom line. Like, I'm the guy that doesn't want to go in the gym and train good. I want to train better. I don't want results that are good. I want better. I want better, and then eventually I want best. If there is a best out there, why the fuck would you settle for anything better, less than the best to put in your fucking body? You want the best supplements, the best water, the best drugs. You want the best of everything, but you're like, ah, settle for fucking the okay fats. What the fuck? It confuses the shit out of me. Said, well, most experts recommend limiting saturated fat to under 10%. Most experts, okay? Experts in this shit, which my wife being a um, CVOR nurse, cardiovascular operating room, sees the effects of this daily. The heart attacks, the blockages, the fucking problems, the high blood pressure, the shit that is caused from these blockages, and many of them, many, not all, but many of them, you have to fill out these things. They do like a study, a workup on the person before this happens. High, diets high in saturated fat. Are there sugar in there too? Yeah, but the fucking leading thing across it, high saturated fat. And once you get those problems, cutting out the saturated fat doesn't fucking help. You can't say, well, now I got, high, I got a blockage and I got this and I'm fucking high cholesterol, I'm just going to cut out saturated fats. It takes the body a while to fucking reverse that shit. And you don't realize you could be doing some damage that you can't fucking get away from. Um, recent reports have muddied the link between saturated fats and heart disease. One meta-analysis of 21 studies said that there was not enough evidence to conclude that saturated fats increased the risk of heart disease. Okay, not enough evidence. But there was evidence, but not enough. What's enough? Everybody has to fucking die of heart disease? I mean, if you're seeing something consistently over and over again, you have another control group that doesn't have the same results, something's going on there. Even though there's not enough science to back it up, something is happening, okay? And you know what? I don't want to be one of those people that's that something. You sitting there go, well, you know, it's not enough. When you're that one fucking person in an operating room, when they fucking open you up from fucking neck to nuts and pull you open and start working on your heart, I guarantee you're going to go, 
what the fuck? How could this happen? You're going to look at your fucking diet and be like, okay, fuck my shit up for a long time. Because I thought it wasn't a big deal. You have to listen to it. Like, you have to read between the lines a lot of this shit to, to see what's really going on. That's how drug companies get fucking drugs approved. Food companies get shit that you should never ingest approved. What the fuck? I mean, let's face facts. It says, um... Two other major studies narrowed the prescription slightly, concluding that replacing saturated fat with polyunsaturated fats like vegetable oils like olive oil, macadamia nut oil, high fiber or high fiber carbohydrates, vegetables, is the, is the best bet for reducing risk of heart disease, but replacing saturated fat with highly processed carbohydrates could promote the opposite. Cutting fat and adding sugar could promote worse heart disease. Cutting fat, saturated fats, and adding vegetables or fucking olive oils or macadamia oils or almond oils or whatever, that can actually lower. So they're saying there's not enough to say that it causes it, but you can decrease the risk by adding these other fucking things like almonds and fucking vegetables. Read between the fucking lines. What they're saying is if you eat these saturated fats, this could happen to you, but it's not enough science, so just fucking knock yourself out. Who gives a fuck? But if you really want to be healthy, do this. What the fuck? What is wrong with you people don't understand this? The good fats um, from vegetables, nuts, seeds, and fish differ from saturated fats by having fewer hydrogen atoms bonded to their carbon chains. Healthy fats are liquid at room temperature, not solid. There are two broad categories, uh, monounsaturated and polyunsaturated. Um, you know, eating polyunsaturated fats in place of saturated fats or highly refined carbohydrates reduces harmful LDL cholesterol, improves the cholesterol profile, and lowers triglycerides. These are fucking facts, okay? You get your omegas, omega-3 fatty acids, omega-6, omega-9. All these things should be in balance. If you throw one out of balance, it could fuck you up health-wise. Now, what the fuck is so hard about this? What is so hard about this? You can't wrap your fucking head around it, and you'll actually sit there and go, a company that fucking makes coconut oil showed me the proof from studies. Did you look up those fucking studies yourself? Where did those studies come from? What else did it say in those studies that you don't even fucking understand? So, and this is Harvard Medical School. Okay, this is not Joe fucking Blows, Jerry's Crab Shack fucking promoting the fucking coconut oil or olive, like it's not an olive oil company fucking promoting it. Like these are things that have been proven over and over again. And what happens is they go back in and say, okay, let's try these studies again and do the same fucking thing. They're coming up with the same conclusions. They can't say that it's not necessarily bad for you, but if you do these other things, you're better off. Ugh. I don't know, guys. I mean, by all means, do whatever the fuck you want. But some of you out there want the truth and I'm trying to bring the fucking truth. Those of you out there that were like, you know, I stand Jerry, it's good for you. Fuck you and your good for you saturated fats. I don't give a fuck what you say. You're the same motherfuckers that do shit like fucking smoke cigarettes and fucking drink alcohol, both poisons to your fucking body and say, in moderation, everything's okay. Get fucked with your moderation shit. That's all I have to say. I mean, you know, more than likely, I'm probably going to fucking outlive you guys doing this fucking stupid shit, which is fucked up because my body was a goddamn playground for fucking 20 years. It took me 20 fucking years to settle down and say, I need to start looking at this stuff, seeing the people. Once the people around you start getting sick, Loved ones, friends, family. Once they start getting sick from shit and you start looking at them going, what the fuck? What is going on here? And you start realizing a lot of their shit that happens to them is through fucking diet and lack of exercise and just being fucking unhealthy in general. Doing shit like fucking smoking and drinking and stuff. And you start looking at this going, fuck, I don't want to be like that. Like, I don't want to be 65 years old in such a fucking mess that I can't move or I'm at the fucking hospital all the time or I have emphysema or I have... I don't want that shit. I've seen all that shit. My uncle died of emphysema. My father died of fucking um, heart complications, cancer. I've had fucking... My mom had two fucking heart attacks. Both my mom and dad had diabetes. My grandfather had diabetes. My fucking grandmother died of cancer. I have watched shit go downhill and people suffer in my life drastically. Drastically throughout the years. It's been a fucking big eye-opener for where I felt that I was 100% invincible and unstoppable to where I'm like, this is where I'm fucking headed. Same thing as with drug addiction. I either knew I was going to get clean or be dead in jail. Like, I knew I was headed down a certain fucking path, so it was time to fucking change. And until you guys reach that that turning point, that wake-up call, that tipping point, you're going to feel the same way. You're like, I like Santa Fe, I'm eat my fucking bacon. And then next thing you know, when your fucking cholesterol is fucked, you're like 35 years old and you're a fucking mess, you're like, well, I don't understand. The fucking bacon is fine. The studies say, yeah, the studies can get fucked. But I was trying to get gmail.com. Leave comments down below. But don't fight. www.bicep.com is a blog. It's the no saturated fat in this bicep. And look how lean it is. And we're out.